want me to put that on my todger? Harry's wife. I had to overshadow a child's birthday. Hello, I'm H.G. Tudor. You know by now that the narcissist has to make everything about them. As I've explained before, they must be the bride at every wedding and the corpse at every funeral. Birthdays are a particular problem for the narcissist, i.e. somebody else's. It's not about the narcissist, which means fuel is going elsewhere, and this all amounts to a threat to the narcissist's sense of control. Some narcissists, having a greater grip on that control and better facade management, are able to breeze through the day, ensuring that attention comes their way, but without doing it in an obvious way that would merit people going, gosh, look at him or look at her, trying to steal the limelight. Instead, they are able to leverage the occasion to their advantage whilst maintaining a facade of decency and allowing the person whose birthday it is to enjoy themselves. They might, for instance, make a speech, which means that all eyes are on them, and whilst they're praising the birthday boy or the birthday girl, they receive approval for the kind nature and humorous content of their speech. This is a more evolved narcissist who's able to capitalise on the occasion without making themselves look bad. Many narcissists aren't able to do this. The way that their narcissism functions is more elementary. It's clumsier in nature. Of course, Harry's wife can't stand it when it's somebody else's birthday. And it doesn't matter even if the birthday is that of a child. Her narcissism motivates her to try and overshadow it. Just recently, of course, it was Prince Louis, loose cannon Louis, who turned five. And as a consequence of that, some photographs which were taken earlier in April in, at, uh, at Windsor were released. Now, it's a tradition for the royal family that the Prince and Princess of Wales shared a couple of new photographs of loose cannon Louis for his birthday. The pictures were taken by photographer Millie Pilkington in Windsor, and they showed Louis smiling in a blue sweater as his mum pushes him in a wheelbarrow. And a fine-looking young man he is. Delightful pictures indeed. And last year, his fourth birthday photos, which were taken by the Princess of Wales, showed him running around the beach at Norfolk. Now, of course, these pictures are released it's Louis's birthday, but guess what? There's someone sat there who cannot have it that part of the world is looking at Louis and saying, My, isn't he a handsome young fellow? Look at that. His tousled hair and sat there in the wheelbarrow, his mum pushing him along. Fantastic. What a lovely young man he's turning into. Oh no, Harry's wife can't have that because it's not talking about her. It's not talking about her offspring, which, remember, their only purpose is to act as mini-ambassadors for her so that she can suck up the fuel associated with them. They are the little mirrors, chips literally, or rather figuratively, off the old block. Her narcissism utilises those children for the purposes of triangulation with other people to receive the fuel and so forth. And yet, Harry's wife just simply cannot stand it. And that's why we suddenly had the release of her saying, hello, here's me with my new look, and then following up with, here's me at the basketball. See parts pass him. But it's useful also to understand that, essentially, what's being done is she is trying to garner attention in order to overshadow a child's birthday. Ordinarily, when important news is released towards the weekend, on a Friday night, it's done in order to hide them by minimising spread. So, for instance, if you've got an unpopular decision from the government or a statement confirming the divorce of the presidential couple, it's often the case you would release that on the Friday evening. And... That news needs to be put out there, but those issuing prefer that it's not widely analysed or commented upon. And therefore it's put out on a Friday because the newsrooms are often empty and a few editors on duty aren't able to contact the relevant officials for comments because it's the weekend and the official institutions are closed. And by Monday, the first wave of interest about that news is over 
and the new week's news cycle starts again. So in essence, it's useful for getting bad news out there in terms of hard, important news. But this situation doesn't apply when it comes to soft news. My PR specialist advises that invariably when it comes to soft news, of which Harry's wife falls into soft news with what she does, an entertainment press release would often be issued on a Friday or on the weekend because the editors on duty needed to publish something regularly and there is, in a way, not enough news at the weekend to be available. So therefore, they're grateful for anything that's sent their way. And it also means there's a bigger chance that the soft release will get coverage on the weekend as opposed to weekdays when it will be competing with many other releases for media space. That's the case with Harry's wife. Advised by her PR outlet, she wanted extra attention over the weekend. And therefore, the dirty laundry that was issued, both in terms of the racism letter and then also following it up with here I am in order to overshadow Prince Louis was done in two parts first of all there was the original piece about saying oh um, I'm not going to the coronation because they didn't deal with my concerns about unconscious bias appropriately and then they're followed up with oh actually that wasn't the case no 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 you're that's frankly ridiculous if you think that's the case And of course, what a coincidence, it happened to be Prince Louis's birthday. And of course, Harry's wife knew, because it's the tradition and practice, that fresh pictures of Louis would be officially released. Harry's wife wanted to ensure that she would stay on the digital front pages throughout the weekend, because no other news would be likely to overshadow her announcement of I'm not coming because you didn't deal with unconscious bias. Then that's ridiculous to suggest that that's the case then look at me, here's me with my new look. And therefore, she wanted to be seen front and centre, and it would also enable her to overshadow Prince Louis. However, it didn't quite work out for the Duchess of Overseas, because Barry Humphrey died, yes, Dame Edna Everidge, and there was plenty of coverage around that, which bumped her off the front page, and she wasn't able to get back there with the pathetic statements about the letters. Essentially, that dead person hijacked the news, which was a curse for her because it prevented her from getting the exposure on the front pages that she wanted. However, she still sought to attempt to overshadow a child's birthday, which again tells you so much of what she is and demonstrates her narcissism in full effect. I'm H.G. Tudor. Thank you for listening.